a watchman. He can extend your days. A watchman. Oh, his activities can cripple people that have said you, 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 you it, over their dead body. You would never. Oh, if a watchman supports you, if a man comes like that, he is humbled quickly. I would like you to understand that because God has said, I want to do this, doesn't necessarily mean it will happen in your life. I'll show you a few scriptures so that you understand. Any day you come to church, like today, and maybe a prophecy goes, and you know it's you God is speaking about. A regime of warfare has already started on your life. Because Satan also heard it. It was at the riverside of John the Baptist's baptism that Jesus was declared, Son of God! This is my beloved Son, in whom I were pleased. The next agenda after that public acknowledgement, public accreditation, was a moment with the devil in the wilderness. And the first thing that the devil came to contend with what was his status as a son of God. We, we, we hear you are using a title now. <laughs> Every prophecy that goes forth about your life because of your life becomes an object of warfare. Satan will contend with it. And when Paul was speaking to his son Timothy, he told him that uh, the prophecies that were spoken over him uh, were, were utensils with which he was supposed to war a good warfare. A good warfare. The reason why it's a good warfare, because the prophetic utterances are already guided missiles. Missiles that will guide you. It's, it's a disclosure of spiritual knowledge. So you know what you are fighting for. Many times in watching and in intercession, the Holy Spirit will make an impression and your understanding is unfruitful. But yet we still pray because prayer is an activity of the heart. We still pray. That's why we have the classified prayer language called speaking in tongues. Your understanding doesn't need to be fruitful in order for you to prosecute that much. But if the prophecies have already revealed the objects, it means you even know what you are praying about and what you are trying to facilitate. It may it be easier for you. It's easier for you. It's easier for you. I will show you critical aspects of your life. Things that put you on notice in the kingdom of darkness. You might be celebrating. You might be rejoicing. But... You are already a suspect, a candidate for satanic attack just because those things happened in your life. Oh, you got a promotion in the office? He's only a fool that will now call the city and say, let's celebrate. I got a promotion. I am elevated. Are you the only one in that office? You are the only one there? No. You have not studied your Bible. The Bible says he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than all their enemies. So every increase is an invitation for a spiritual, for contest, for battle. And so God will not only give you the grace to facilitate an increase in your life, he will also administer to you the needed strength for contention. Anything that's Suggest that makes you preferred from others is an object of great envy. Watch us. There are secret agents of the cross deployed to families, to regions, to nations, deployed to watch and to labor to ensure that the plans of God are entrenched within the scope of their jurisdiction. It's, it's an aspect of the activity of the body of Christ that the church of our day does not know any longer. And in the place of prayer, he said, we should flag off a new age, the age of the watchmen. And then that in obedience to that policy of heaven, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing here. Verse number 25 of Matthew 13 says, but while
men slept. His enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat. And what happened? And went his way. He came on challenge. He left on challenge because the watchman was asleep. The question is how many people have walked into your family and walked out? Haven't sown seeds of wickedness that will occasion a special kind of harvest that is in the intent of the enemy. Next verse. Who is there on the console? Next verse. But when so the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, this not thou so good seed in thy field from whence then had come test. And he said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will, will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather the, up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. I'm saying, there are some plantings that if the devil succeeds in achieving, you cannot root them out immediately. That we need to grow side by side but what the, that means the devil's plan is succeeding side by side God's plan the devil's intention you have to be patient you will see Satan's plan mature and there's nothing you can do about it it was because that arrangement could have been solved if the enemy was caught on sight now we are compared to live with the devil's plan. Are you a victim of a situation? You are living side by side with the seed that the devil has planted and, and you can't root it out. It's, it's, it's right there before you. But you cannot root it out in the present time. The reason is because once upon a time, the watchman in charge of your jurisdiction he slept. The impact of a sleeping watchman can be transgenerational. Are you with me? I give you one prayer point as we try to round up. Tomorrow we'll continue and we'll begin to build the truth of the word of God. And the intention is to transform you to become a watchman. I will tell you everything about the art of keeping the watches. Oh my. And also the impartation you need to stand in your capacity as a watchman. You will receive during the course of this month. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. The Bible says, every tree that my heavenly father has not planted, it must be what? Rooted. That's the prayer point. There is a planting of the enemy. There is a planting of the enemy that needs to be rooted out of your family. We are making demands on heaven this night. There is a planting of the enemy that needs to be rooted out of Nigeria. We are making demands on heaven this night. There is a planting of the kingdom of darkness that must be challenged tonight. We are making demands on heaven. Hallelujah. So you may be upstanding as we prosecute this prayer every tree jesus said that my heavenly father has not planted must be rooted out i'd like us to raise our voices have you spotted a tree have you spotted have you spotted a circumstance have you spotted an activity that is illegal is so bold Ah, the devil planted something. But the destiny of everything that our Heavenly Father has not planted is that it must be rooted out. Can we make demands on heaven right now? Right now. Right now. Right now.